another establishment to expand their business. But then on that note, um, with that, we have the urban table and we have roofs. They're contiguous use. Do they have two separate licenses or is just one license? Uh, I believe roofs and urban table are one license. Okay, so they're another establishment of roofs. <coughs> okay. Um, to Mr. Arlington's statement regarding the restaurant, the way they set it up, I like it the way the bar is set up in the front, because the majority of all our establishments in town, they have the same kind of setup, where there's a bar towards the entrance when you come in, so it actually stops people from going into the area where they're eating. So it's contiguous kind of, or continuing throughout the whole town, the same type of structure. Um, we talk about the jazz versus the Iron Bistro. I think what happened was that we had to end up changing the name to Resolutions because it had a bad rep when we had the lawsuit going on, and it was part of the expansion. So when we talk about that, I still have the issue of referring back to because we have someone who is um, suing the town, that they have no right to do that, and they're bad um, business owners. Everyone has a right to sue something when they sue an entity when they think that something is unfair. And I think that part comes from that first establishment of that issue we had with the expansion. And then the other issue is with the parking authority. So. That means totally something different of what we're dealing with today. Um, I've been here for 49 years. There's been so many different changes in the establishments in that area. And I understand what's happening. But when we talk about the Latino community, or you made a statement about how I wanted jazz and the African American, well, the Latino people also would like to come to that establishment. So we know that on Speedwell Avenue, they don't have any liquor. Um, establishments where they can go sit down and eat and enjoy the, you know, their drink. There's no actual places except for um, liquor stores. So getting them to come into the center of town, into the business district, and sit down and have a meal and entertain, be entertained with their family and friends and hear some music, I think that's a great idea. And I'm hoping that at some point we will still have a place where different locations um, where there's places for African-American people to go to. But I think that we need to make sure that everyone likes that type of atmosphere, and so we shouldn't just shut them down because of that. And I do trust Mr. Kavanaugh. After all these years since I was a young person, from the different locations that he's been at, he's been a consistent and loyal business owner in our town. And he follows the law. He makes sure that the quality of his restaurants or his businesses are on the high end. And I appreciate that and I respect that. Um, I understand where the residents are complaining about um, the expansion and bringing in more numbers of people and um, the amount of money that's been spent on um, police officers, things like that. And then someone mentioned, well, we had a great master plan and we've invited people to come into Morristown. Well, we've done it. We have millennials here. So what are you going to do next? We have more renters than we have homeowners. And we have everybody who wants to take part in the socialization in Marstown. And I think it's going to get better. But two, we shouldn't stop him because there's no real reason why he can't expand um, because of the numbers. If he's saying that he's going to keep those numbers under 1,043 people, why not? What are the reasons that we wouldn't believe him? What violations have we seen over the years from one establishment to the other and what he's done? He's been forthright and upcoming in explaining his case to us on every level from the first time he's opened any of his restaurants. So I have issue with what we're doing, and I think that a lot of it is driven from something else. Um, and I think that we really need to look at our master plan then and talk more about what we're doing and who are we inviting to come to our community, and then having more interaction with our residents also about where we're going, and not just one group of people. We need to look at the whole town and start thinking of that, too. But I'm in favor for the expansion. I think he's a great landlord. I think he's a great business owner. And I don't see any doubt um, in what he's saying that he would actually do. I haven't seen it over all these years. And I think the nightlife is fantastic. It could be curved a little bit with some of the activities, but it's not just his businesses. <laughs> that brings in all the uh, number of people who are coming into our town. So we can't just blame it on his establishments and right in that location. 
vibrant restaurant. It doesn't make sense. Seconded by Councilmember Deeb that the application of Iron Bar LLC license number 1424-33-029-014 for a place-to-place -place transfer application be the, the motion is that the application be denied. Are there any questions or comments? Just, just to be clear, yes vote is, is to deny. Yes vote is to deny. That's right. The motion is to deny. So yes, what well, would be to that? Are there any questions on the motion? Seeing none, um, roll call of council members. Ms. Davis. Yes. Ms. Eve. Yes. Mr. Elms. Yes. Ms. Foster. Yes. Ms. Harris. No. Mr. Iannica. Yes. Council President Arnington. Yes. Council President, yes, six yeas, one nay. The motion to deny carries. I just want to make sure that we're keeping all the exhibits. Uh, yes. So, Mr. Kirk, are you keeping the exhibits? You have some. I have these, but yes. I'll, 